So there's that. And take the uh, other barrel nut. Again, noticing which end has the notches. <clears throat> and putting the notches on this side here. And I'll take the other three inch fully threaded rod. I have to smash it a little bit. Just some burrs in there from printing. And um, before I put that on, I want to put the put the handle piece on too. And it goes on in this orientation with the uh, the nut facing this head here, so that when it does the clamping, it seeks to pull the nut tighter in rather than pop it out. Open this all the way up. Again, using my little wrench. Yeah. Nice and snug. Now we have the clamping assembly. And you see, had this nut been not a nylock, this piece would be flopping all over the place right now, so that's kind of why it's nice. I'm just going to start attaching stuff to the body of this guy here. I'm going to take this piece, it could go on either way. I like this way because this is the face that's going to have the battery on it and there's a little more open surface there. snug in there. Yeah, that's good. It's all the way in. And this goes on the other side. Uh, as far as... I guess it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter which, if it's this way or this way, because you'll, as long as you have access to it both, both ways. It's supposed to be snug. That's good. Now, this front assembly can pop on. 5 16 button head. They've never been assembled before, so, so they want to resist a little bit. larger Allen wrench. I'll put it in a little snug, but not but not too much because you want it to be able to move for now. We'll do the hard clamping later when we find the angle that we like. Okay, so I just finished tightening this thing on there snugly, and now it's time to mess with the, uh, the Velcro. So there's a fair amount of Velcro in this kit. These two long adhesive back strips are intended to go around your battery. So I've already got one here for that. Uh, let's see, this five inch or so length piece goes on the bottom of your handle. Just like that. This giant bundle here, they're all the same. Uh, they end up getting stacked on each other. They're going to go with these holes right here. And the idea is the Velcro base, it's either it's hook and loop, and the kits have half have one version, half have the other. But basically, you just want it so this has the loop the fluff on it so I need to have the hook the scratchy point uh, part facing up just like that so it'll stick to it when I put it down 
and then it's actually two stacked on each other but I don't want them to stick to each other so I put them I arrange this other one here so that it won't stick to it but they'll be stacked and I've got eight screws in the kit these are special uh, special screws it's kind of a triangular cross section that keeps them from, from coming out from vibration which is pretty neat we're just going to put them in like that. And I won't snug it until the other one kind of lined up. The other thing this Velcro does is it kind of protects the pack from the heads of these screws when you stack it on there, otherwise they might eat into the battery. So just, just go like that. Hook up, pad down, pad up, hook down. in there. Don't have to pre-drill or anything. They're already the right size. They're self-threading. You can take them out and put them back in without worrying about tearing up the hole. Do it over and over again. Just like that. The last bit of uh, Velcro in here is these strips are meant for putting the cords on your bike frame, keep them from flying around, so they'll be last. And then this little bit of hook and loop two incher is uh, it's intended to go on the bottom of your controller, and it's just to one end goes there, and the controller just kind of sits on it, keep it from jiggling around. It's not structural. Helps a little bit. At this point, I'm going to pull out the uh, rest of the electronics. Uh, so this is it. This is your your ba <coughs> excuse me your battery, your motor controller, your motor, and then your speed controller. And the uh, even though I've got these kind of color coded because I was experimenting, you can plug these in in any order you want with the with the bullet connectors. And uh, if it goes the wrong way, you just switch any two wires and it'll go the other way. <clears throat> so for right now, I'm going to put my motor controller inside and it should go this way rather than 180 degrees because my battery is going to be over here and I'm going to bring the cord around like that. It'll take up the slack really nicely. I've got the hiccups too. <laughs> Get out of here. And I'll just uh, tuck the speed controller in there with it. Kind of leave the little cord hanging out so I can access it. <clears throat> and take my, uh, my two case shell pieces these little, little screws <laughs> and put it on in like that. If you'll notice actually the uh, battery had some wire harness on it. That's included in the kit as well. But I don't want to cut it because I'm going to put this kit back when I'm done. Uh, but I've got a couple pieces already cut to length. 
of the lengths that I need. You end up cutting it into three sections, one for your battery, one for this cable, and then one for this whole long thing here. And that's not required, it's just kind of a nice to have. It looks really professional. Last screw. Last couple things to do with the plastic parts is put the motor cover on. That just screws on with four itty bitty metric screws with the split washer on those. Like that. And that's got four uh, four holes on it. Find the right orientation. smaller Phillips screwdriver would be preferred for this. I don't want to strip these little screws out. I'll just screw that in in a second here off camera. The other thing we want to do is store our tools in our little baby, baby wrench together. You just jam them in. There's a small hole and a big hole. If it's too tight to go in, you can kind of twist it around to dig it out and get more space. Like that. And this goes on the opposite side, facing in. There. I'm going to drop the last couple things on there now and we'll put it on the bike. So I got my battery and since the battery has labels on two sides, I like to put the labels uh, like this, so it's on the top, so that when you put everything together, you won't be able to see it. So I put it there, and I've got my, my handle, put that down, and then I kind of over, and then I pull it tight and push it against the other, push it against the other side. and reverse and you're good now this will be able to kind of reach down and, and plug in there <clears throat> and you'll notice I actually have what are called Dean's connectors on here as opposed to the stock what was it, 40 millimeter bullet connectors I should have just, I had to cut it and add these, I should have just left it alone. That's what I've recommended that you do. Um, so on the other side, we use these extra straps to hold down the, the extra bits of stuff down here. Real technical terms there. How the heck, I don't remember how I was doing it. And you're supposed to put a zip tie around that, remember. Kind of lock it down over here. Just like that. Now the side that opens is the side that does not have the motor wire running along it. Otherwise you'd have a hard time getting it around your around onto your bike. The only things left in the hardware kit are this Velcro to attach to your bike and some extra zip ties and a hose clamp to lock onto your frame to kind of resume your position once you find a spot you like.